Hey there, it's me, Katie. I've had qu several people ask me recently how to do the baby wipe reinker technique, so I thought I'd make a quick video and show you how to do this one. It's especially fun for fall colors. Um, I really like using it with this stamp from the Lovely as a Tree stamp set. So let me show you real quickly how to do this. You start with a plate. Um, it could be a dinner plate or a paper plate or even just your cutting plate from your Big Shot, just any non-porous surface. And you're going to take a couple of baby wipes. I, I like to use at least two just to get a nice cushion out of it. You go ahead and fold that up. Make sure that it's at least as big as your stamp. And then take whatever colors you want to use and just put a few drops of each color on those baby wipes. Scatter them around. I'm using, let's see, Tangerine Tango, Rich Razzleberry, Watermelon Wonder, and then Cucumber Crush. And really the color choice is up to you. Um, you could throw a yellow in there, so Saffron or Delightful Dijon or really just anything. Um, so you end up with what looks like just a muddy mess. Okay. But it's it's like magic when you put your stamp to it. And you don't want to move it around a lot. You want to just ink that stamp. Make sure that you've got the whole thing inked. And then grab a piece of cardstock and Voila! You can see I didn't have it quite wet enough here on the right side. So what I want to do is go ahead and flip it over and let's try that one more time. So I'll add a few more drops to that edge and let's try again. I think my, my baby wipe stamp pad is just a little bit smaller than my stamp, so that's why it didn't get completely inked. I'm just checking to make sure that everything's nice and wet this time. Give it a good firm press. You don't want to rock it. And there we go. You can see those fun colors coming out. Okay. Really quick and easy. Lots of fun. Um, this is great if you are mass producing cards so you can mix your inks right on your baby wipe and stamp and stamp, you know, multiple cards without having to stop and clean your stamp in between. If you were trying to get this kind of a look using markers or sponging on your stamp, then you'd have to stop and clean that ink off before you hit that stamp pad again so that you wouldn't muddy up your ink pads. So this solves that problem and you can get quite a few impressions out of one stack of baby wipes before the colors start to muddle up and you'll have to grab a new set and re-ink and start again. So, uh, yeah, I hope that answers everybody's questions. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, keep emailing me with any questions you have. Mm -hmm.